and it's time for the arts and entertainment segment. Now, walking on the streets or visiting a cafe or even at your office, you may have seen a mural at one point to another. You may pass murals every day on your daily commute. Now, murals have beautified places and cities for centuries and are an essential type of public art. A mural is an ancient form of artwork that consists of painting directly onto a wall or ceiling surface. While we see murals outdoors, they can in fact be created on surfaces both outside and inside of buildings or structures. Meanwhile, aesthetics are the philosophical study of beauty and taste. In individual terms, aesthetics include color, balance, pattern, and scale. Today on The Morning Show, we venture again into the world of arts as we explore painting aesthetics and murals. To discuss on this is a contemporary Nigerian artist, Damilola Awusonya. He is a graduate of the painting department at the School of Art, Design, and Printing Technology, Iyaba College of Technology. He has passion for drawing and painting portraits and, also, and has also tutored other artists as well. Now, he has participated in various group exhibitions such as Democracy 2015, Final Year Exhibition 2019, Atmosphere, Art and NFT Exhibition 2022. Adam Lola Awusanya is right here with us in the studio. Good morning, Dam. Good, Good morning, Dam Lola. Thank you so much for joining us on The Morning Show. Yeah. Uh, See, you're twinning. You guys yeah. planning your twinning. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Damilola. I mean, yeah. um, you are an artist, you're an artist by study, so it's your major discipline, and you're an artist, your career. Coming to a place where people are really appreciating arts, because before you just go to a place, everything is just bland mm. and be, and there's something just does for your you know, creative thinking. I was yeah. seeing that, you know, you do that with what you're achieving with your aesthetics and morals on the walls, particularly in office structures. Because also you've, you've done this job for even um, cafes, restaurants. That's I've right, seen yeah. most of your work, you know, on their walls. And it's just so pretty to see. Uh, one question I have is, do the clients actually tell you, this is what I want? Or you give them the design, the idea, say this will fit your space. Maybe it's um, a restaurant that's promoting African food or a restaurant that is promoting... Um, um, snacks or, or okay. fruity or fruits and veggies. Okay. How does that play? Um, uh, as an artist, me personally, I don't want to like. like I don't always like to impose a design on a client. I want them to actually share down idea. Okay, this is uh, what I want on my space. Uh, it's not left for the artist to be like, okay, I can actually improve on the design. I can actually um, add my own ideas. I can make it more better you understand mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be centralized on the artist that the artist has to so provide the design, the design, the design yeah the concept okay so the, the clients just think about their ideas too and share with and share with your yeah. minds okay you're an art tutor yes you teach <laughs> arts yeah so how you know you teach many arts which means that it's not necessarily just um you alone you teach other people you have from when she was talking about you, mm. she spoke about how you've impacted the young people, taught them. Now, what's that like, teaching young people art and how to become good artists? Good artists. Okay, uh, it's what I enjoy doing, actually. Like, I love uh, sharing my knowledge, at least the little I've known. Yeah, I want to, I love to impact it on, yeah, most, mostly young ones. And yes, it has, it's something that, um, though it's taxing, it's taxing and it takes a lot of time to actually um, sit someone that has, that, that, that does not have a, a, like little or no idea about uh, what you are doing, like the arts and the rest. So you just need to like guide them through the journey mm. um, of how to, how far they can be a better artist, you understand? So you, you, um, I learned that some young ones actually uh, love art and they actually want to practice art. So it's left for me to like, okay, um, I see your passion. I know you actually want to do this. Okay, this is how I can help you. Then I put them through in the sense that uh, probably maybe uh, a six month program, you understand, starting from the basics, okay. Um, we learn how to, how to draw first, then gradually we proceed to painting, 
and the rest. So the processing, I, I mean, the process has been interesting and fun because uh, I tend to uh, interact with the uh, with my uh, what's it called students, mm -hmm. what uh, they want, their challenges because art yeah. uh, materials is quite something that. Uh, it's not really like <laughs> it's it's of high, high price because yeah, I've heard that before. yeah heard it's very expensive, very, very, very expensive. Too. Yes, um, uh, are they, these are some of the uh, discour discouragement that students get because uh, at the end of the day they feel like uh, they can't afford this or so materials. Well, they, can, uh, they, they don't think that they can yeah, continue and all that. Not to this my colleague. You understand? <laughs> so uh, I don't go on as, uh, as, as a, uh, how would I call it, as a tutor. Mm. It left for me to, okay, how may I assist you? How can I assist you? So let me just uh, try and get some materials for myself to help you so that we can actually achieve this thing together. Okay. You understand? And some may even feel like it's boring because mm. at, at some point you will get uh, mm. bored because mm. uh, it's not some, like you have to be uh, patient enough, you have to be very calm enough to practice arts. It's just like uh, architecture. I tried to study that in school. I, uh, I don't want to remember. So, um, <laughs> so and that's an intro tech back in secondary school. And you know, I'd had that passion. I wanted to be an architect in my mind. I wanted to be an architect. Well, when I started doing intro tech, uh, I said, this one is it's, it's not, for it's not for me. You know, but you know, looking at it, so the question really is that means to be an artist is not necessarily inborn now, is it? Because you teach people art. Yes. Most, because you see people that say, I was I born. With the, with the brush, <laughs> you know. I actually said it earlier that um, <laughs> is, uh, you can have uh, the skill, like the talent, you understand, then improve on it. And as well as if you don't even have any, if you don't even know how to draw a cat or a cup, you can still learn out. So then you can teach me yes. how to draw a cat yes. and a, a cup. Mm -hmm. Wow, I should go for training. I think I, I, think I need that. I, yes, we, we need to. Of course, you actually need to learn. We need to learn so <laughs> that yeah. because the way Dam Lola is looking fresh, we need to learn. You know this this because <laughs> he you have done major major jobs and you know um, another another thing I would like to ask you is it seems like you um, had you have a better advantage because of you studying this thing in a school of technology. Would you say you have a better advantage than someone that? Just did started, that did not go to school for art, but just um, started drawing and... Do you mean in art business now? Or? In both the art business, the art, the, the art, the business of art, and also in the finishing. Okay. You know, and staying true. You talked about there's a time you get to where you need the patience and all of that. Would you say all of that helped? Uh, the kind of, to form the kind of person you are now? I would say, uh, in this aspect, is uh, individual thing. Mm -hmm. Because um, there are self-taught artists. That are, yeah, yes, that are actually doing great. Like, okay. it, it, when I mean great, they are really doing great in terms of um, marketing their hearts, even uh, producing arts, you understand? Because um, I would say you, being, uh, you going to school to study arts is not, it's not the uh, criteria that we enable you to actually do well or As do better artist. in the field, you okay. understand? Uh, as an artist, uh, like individual, like I said, you have to have the hodge, no matter what. You have to keep pushing yourself. That uh, I just want to, I just want to make something out of this. Because if you don't have the encouragement, like if you don't encourage yourself, you just find it really boring. And at the end of the day, you can you can even leave it one side that I don't think I can continue again, <laughs> honestly. Because um, okay, as uh, as as a uh, as a self taught artist. Um, you can uh, as well get to the dull length, even in terms of finishing self. You can be as good as someone that as well go to the school to learn it. Mm. Yes. Mm. So what is, the, what is the advantage of actually going to school to study art? What is the gain? What is the gain? You know, because like you said, you had a passion coming up, then decided to go to school to fine tune. Yeah. So somebody listening to you now, that has a passion and is looking and saying, okay, I want to be like Dan. Okay. What is the advantage they get from, by actually going to school to study? It's okay. Um, I think one of the advantages, um, one, uh, you have to, like, you will learn, you will be exposed, one, in the sense of uh, knowledge, your knowledge will be widening and 
you, I think you'll be one step ahead of someone that actually, someone that is a self-taught because um, you, will, you will learn to, like you'll be exposed to uh, various skills, um, techniques, uh, styles, and as well as in terms of, because school, school, school will uh, give you that uh, pressure for you to actually, uh, will I say, for you to speed up because I could remember back then in, uh, in Java Tech, they would tell us, like, you have a series of assignments that are piling down for you, and no matter what, you have to complete these assignments before the next class, you understand? Mm -hmm. So all this will enable you to actually uh, hurry up to do one or two things, like the speed will be there, and in terms of skills as well, you understand, you will be more skillful, and there are some basic things that you will learn uh, in terms of elements of design, like um, the color theory, the composition, uh, the lines, the texture, the perspective. You understand? Mm. All these um, you, know, you can't learn. You can't learn on your own. On your own. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Damila, for coming on the morning show. And do you have a message? To, would you like to say something to young people as yourself? Uh, yes, I would say. Um, as an artist, whether you are painting on a canvas or a mural, all you need to do is to stay true with your vision and yeah, don't be afraid to express yourself and um, just do what you love doing and most importantly, uh, see art as fun. Mm. Like, trust the process and uh, always. Uh, and uh, like push yourself, push yourself to go for what you actually want. And yes, you to surely work yeah. to work out. Thank you so much, Damilola. Thank, Thank you for you coming so on the morning Damilola. show. <laughs> now we have been speaking with Damilola Awosanya, an amazing Nigerian artist who is into morals and portrait painting. He's, a, he's an hyper-realist and he has been taking us through this discussion, exploring painting aesthetics and morals. And I'm sure you enjoyed every bit of this discussion.